We've got butter, flour, and milk, heavy milk, in this pot. I'm gonna add some cheeses in a little bit, then add it to our boiled macaroni. I am throwing down today, I'm making some baked macaroni and cheese. Got some greens, whoa, should have known that was gonna happen. Got some greens going, whoa, hello. Let's wait for that to clear up. This is getting good and thick, it's thickening up. Try the greens again. Now I'm far back. Mmm. Who loves collard greens? I love collard greens. I remember my grandma making them growing up, and her whole house would be filled with the smell of greens and cornbread. Mmm. Okay, so while this is getting thick, let me turn up the heat a little bit. Here's the cornbread. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am cooking for my niece's birthday. We're celebrating Tasia's 22nd birthday at my brother's house, who is her dad. So getting everything ready here, we have two cakes. Two cakes, there's a chocolate cake in here, and then a strawberry cake, a little tiny one in here. And then, kind of cleaning it as I'm going. Then we have some boiled, Macaroni ready to go for the macaroni and cheese. Look at all of the dishes I've been dealing with today, but these are all clean. So as soon as these as soon as these are dried, I'm gonna put all these away. I'm trying to clean up before we leave. I'm kind of cleaning up as I'm messing up the kitchen. So when we come home, the kitchen won't be destroyed. Come home to a nice clean kitchen tonight. I'm super oily right now. My brother's baking chicken at his house. We were gonna do ribs in the oven, but then we decided um, his oven's not big enough for ribs for everybody. He would like be having to cook ribs and then take them out and then cook more ribs, stick them in, take them out, stick more in, take them out, stick more in. So he's just like, I'm just gonna bake chicken. So we're doing baked chicken, brownies, cake, cornbread, greens, and mac and cheese. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love to have you stick around and subscribe and be a part of our little YouTube family. If you're a returning subscriber, I always appreciate you. So let's go ahead and get the macaroni going. I'm gonna start loading up stuff in the car. The girls have been packed to go to my brother's since yesterday, they've had their bags packed. Um, we're not spending the night or anything, it's just when they know that we're going to like a family function or an event for a majority of the day, we pack up like our whole house pretty much. Um, but they'll pack like a, some toys, a couple of books and their tablets and all that good stuff and they're each individual bags. So they've been packed and excited since yesterday. It's Tasia's birthday. She is like my daughter. Um, the girls call her Aunt Tasia, even though she is cousin Tasia, but they don't know that. So she's just always been Auntie Tasia. And yeah, we're just gonna have a good day today, hang out with the family, and be at my brother's all day. All I have for the mac and cheese today is this mild cheddar, and then this is sharp cheddar. I normally will add mild, sharp, and then some Gouda, but I don't have any Gouda, so we're just gonna make do. It's still gonna taste super yummy. And can you believe, I thought I was going to throw down and eat all of this food that we're cooking, just eat it um, with like little portions. I thought I was going to be able to eat little portions today and break my diet a little bit and splurge a little bit on this yummy food that we're gonna eat at my brother's, but I've fully decided I am committed to this diet and I'm not gonna have any cheat days, so I'm not gonna have any greens, I'm not gonna have any cornbread, I'm not gonna have any mac and cheese, and I'm not gonna have any cake or baked chicken, you guys. I am pretty dedicated. I've already lost like five pounds. So, wish me luck that I don't eat all of the things tonight. Anytime I'm cooking some good old soul food like this or some good old Mexican food, I bring out grandma's, grandma's pans and pots. In order to get a rich, creamy, thick cheese sauce for your macaroni and cheese, you need to start with a roux. And a roux is a flour and butter base that a lot of people will make like clam chowders with or um, cheddar and broccoli soup. It's like a thickening agent and it also doubles as a base because it mixes the flour and the butter mixed together and then you cook off the flour 
taste and it blends beautifully with cream or half and half or milk and to a whatever sauce you're going for and today we're taking the roux and adding cheese for macaroni and cheese so I'm just gonna sit here and let this get thick and it's going to be getting thick from the flour it's getting there I think I need to add a little bit more flour okay I added a little bit more flour Hopefully that'll speed up the thickening process. Yep, that did the trick. Sweet. So in a couple of minutes, you always want to make sure that the, um, the roux doesn't burn because obviously milk burns super quick. Yum, perfect. That little amount of flour is what did it. Okay, see that? I might need to whisk this a little bit. I'm gonna add some cheese, and then after the mac and cheese is assembled, we're gonna take off. Bomb. Look at that. I just put some breadcrumbs, Italian style breadcrumbs, and some more cheese on top. Now we're gonna take it to my brother's and bake it. Yum. Doesn't that look so bomb, you guys? Mmm. Yum. Hi. Hi. Ready to go to Uncle Cory's and party? This is the cake. Okay, we are on our way to my brother's house. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. I had to bring some extra chairs from my house because they just moved into their house and they don't have enough seating for everyone and better safe than sorry. So, you guys ready? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Who is not buckled correctly? Me. So what does that mean? What does that mean, girls? Buckle up. Buckle up. The right way. Oh. The right way, yes. <laughs> Hi, Soph. Hi, Mama. And you need you a regular size car seat now, huh? You need a big girl car seat. Mm -hmm. You need a big girl car seat? Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday! Thank you, to Chrissy. Welcome, love you. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back home. Everyone's super tired. I'm going to start doing the girls' nighttime routine and get them tucked away in bed. We had a nice time celebrating Tasha's birthday, and now probably going to straighten up the kitchen, take my makeup off, get my pajamas on, and then I'll jump back on with you guys.
got eggs going for the girls. I'm going to load up some blueberries on their plates. And then I'm going to take off my makeup because I slept with it on. Gross. with all of my makeup on last night because I was so tired and I had planned to take it off while I was laying in bed with Sophia and then I was going to get up after she was sleeping and take my makeup off and I didn't work out this way. I woke up this morning with all my makeup all greased up and oiled up on my face. So I am excited now to take it all off. The girls are sitting down eating some eggs and blueberries. They're FaceTiming with Dee. And I'm going to take this makeup off my face using this Morning Burst Facial Cleanser from Clean and Clear. I like the yellow one better. Then we're gonna go get a coffee because I don't have any more Red Bulls or any more syrup to make my own. Such a beautiful day out. We are definitely gonna play outside today. and enjoy the weather, but I want to pick up the house a little bit first. facial cleanser doesn't even get oh I guess it's just I need a makeup remover after I wash my face with this I still have to go in with makeup remover so I used to have this Biore I really like Biore products I used to have this Biore um, charcoal activated makeup wash I think I need to get that again so this just washes your face. This is not makeup remover. The Biore one that's like this, but it's in a black bottle. It is facial cleanser and makeup remover. I'm just putting on some eyebrows for the day. 
not gonna really wear any makeup today. I didn't even take a shower today. I'm not gonna take a shower until tonight. Probably take a bath. Sounds nice. Should I do lashes? Mm. Yeah, why not? Let's do some lashes. Why not? When I asked you guys if would you guys if you guys were on a deserted island and you had to bring three makeup products, what would you bring? Most of you guys said mascara and lip gloss. And I agree. As long as I can get away with my lashes being done, my eyebrows being done, having some lip gloss on and a little bit of blush or bronzer, uh, I feel like it's fair to say I'm good to go. I'm completely broken out all right here. It's got to be from the masks. Who else is breaking out from their masks? I am really bad. I never break out and I've been breaking out the last year pretty much only right here. lash glue liner if it'll focus from kiss Yeah, so today I'm just gonna be me cleaning up the house, probably doing some meal prep. I need to go to the grocery store. So today I'll just I'll go to the grocery store tomorrow. Today I'm just going to clean up the house and then play outside with the girls, probably do a craft. I've been wanting to get out kinetic sand for the girls. But it is under a big pile in the craft closet that I need to take everything off of it just to get to it. That's another goal that I have for springtime is reorganizing and purging the things in the craft closet. Because we have a huge craft closet, but it's a mess. Like if I showed you the inside, I would be embarrassed. Actually, maybe I should and I'll just make a whole video about it. Organize my craft closet. Okay, so there's my little I love my haircut. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna straighten up the bathroom, go check on the girls, and then get our day started. I don't know, just keep them in there. I put all that stuff in your backpack when I was cleaning out the car the other day when JC was babysitting you guys, and I didn't have a bag to put all of the junk in, so I put it in your backpack, Lay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so don't go digging through the bag. I need to take it inside and go through it, okay? She's like, what's this in my bag? What's this in my bag? <laughs> we are headed to go get some coffee and I think I'm gonna need a double today because I am on the struggle bus this morning. I'm pretty tired 
and my body's tired. I'm gonna make a protein shake. I'm gonna make a smoothie today for one meal, a protein shake for another meal, eat a really good salad, a really good chicken salad for lunch, and then do another healthy dinner another meal that's um will be a healthy dinner probably something that i meal prepped last week yes Yay! she's what she'd sit but i want my back oh tell her say can i have a drink sister hey shook what? you're big enough to know what buckle up means okay. it, when it's time to get in the car it's time to buckle up sister okay? okay so put your drink down and buckle up okay not my cheek it doesn't matter whose drink it is you're holding it put it down and buckle up okay. Every time we get in the car now and go somewhere, I'm gonna have to check to see if you're buckled. Okay. And you're five, you're gonna be six soon, so I know that you know better. I know you know how to buckle up. My Sunday cleaning routine is definitely my most satisfying. I always start by clearing off the dining room table and getting everything good and wiped down in the dining room, including the table and the chairs. Can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up, and we just sing along. And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? If I could stop. Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever 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 I'll watch you as you sleep I love to light a good fresh smelling candle in the middle of my cleaning so the house can start to smell really good and yummy and it can motivate me to clean the rest of the places. all supposed to be up there? Yeah. You are? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful guys, please. Okay. That makes me so, I feel like that's dangerous up there. Oh. <laughs> Sophia, I mean Layla. <laughs> I'm gonna be coming in your room in a little bit to clean it up. And you guys are yeah. gonna help me. Yay! Okay, that's okay. This room's a big old mess. Yeah, it's just a little bit. You're right. Yeah. They're so pretty. And one picture is going to be, um, I think this picture is going to have you, your brothers, is going to have all three of you guys and all two of your brothers. So all five of you guys in this pic. And then there's a really cute frame. There's a really cute picture I want to put in this frame of Shukri and Layla. And then this one will be all three of the girls. Okay, I'm so, I need a phone for this game. How does that look? It's this phone. It's a perfect you pink in here. I knew the pink was going to be perfect in here. Living room's trashed. You guys ready to see the playroom? Who's ready to see the playroom? <gasps> OMG! What does it look like in here, you guys? Yucky. Yucky, yeah. yeah. Thumbs down for sure. Thumbs Big down. Mess. Big huge mess. Yeah. 
What'd you say, Layla? Say it loud. It looks pretty when it's cleaned up. It looks pretty when it's cleaned up. Yep. We really need to learn how to take better care of your guys' toys. Okay. Right, girls? Yeah. Layla was so cute this morning. She was trying to help me to put the garbage can liner back in the garbage can and lift up the garbage can and put it into the other garbage can. And she did an actual pretty good job. That little girl is strong for only being three years old. Look at Sophia in her shoes, already wearing heels. You okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ow, you okay? <laughs> Nice shoes, Sophia. Oh, you okay? <gasps> She's such a champion, you guys. She's a little soldier. The youngest one is always a soldier. She was rolling off the couch, getting tossed in the air when she was only a couple months old, huh, baby? Hello. Nothing phases this girl. <laughs> <laughs> she just laughs. Excuse me, Layla, I asked you to pick up your shoe right there. It's not my shoe. It is true, it fits you. No, don't shave. Yes, it does. It fits you perfect. It's gonna be your little summer shoe for the river and stuff this year, this summer. Go take it and put it where I told you to put it. That's who will it. Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? forever. Now it is time to start in on the kitchen and I like to start by unloading the dishwasher and clearing off the countertops. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? at the wrong place at the right time genius mom hacks these good to grow juices that have character lids that you can find at your local grocery store walmart winco target for around a couple of bucks i save a majority of the actual cups and then i save all of the lids and your kids have so much fun picking out which lid head they want for the day and for their drink and I think they're just little collector's items. The kids really love to pick out their own and I really like to save them for them. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies and you took my hands look at me having a good old time all by myself this day was definitely a good day
If there's only a few dishes in your sink and they are bigger dishes like pots and pans, I recommend washing them by hand so you can get those out of the way and then you don't have to worry about loading up the dishwasher. So I really don't mind washing my dishes by hand. I feel like it gives them a really good thorough clean and it gives me a little bit of hand exercise. This is our first house in six years, me and Babe together, that we had a dishwasher in our house. Curious to know how many of you guys have a dishwasher and hand wash your dishes, or how many of you guys fully utilize your dishwasher, and how many of you guys actually don't have a dishwasher. A lot of the houses in um, Spokane, where we moved from, did not have dishwashers, so we didn't have a dishwasher for almost three years, so I was always hand washing my dishes. Let me know down in the comments who has a dishwasher and who doesn't. This is my grandma's pot that I cooked my baked macaroni in yesterday for my niece's party that you guys saw. And some of the cheese and milk burnt in the bottom and I cannot get the burnt residue up to save my life. So I put a couple of inches of water and some Dawn dish soap in the pot and then I am trying to boil off the burn. But nothing is working you guys. That burn is like deep into the pot. Let me know what you guys do down in the comments, please. I would love to know and I'm sure we could all use a little bit of tips in the kitchen. What do you guys do and use when you have a really bad baked on burn in your pots and pans? Since it is the end of the weekend and tomorrow, Monday, will be the start of a new week, I really like to refill all of the soap and dish soap dispensers to make sure they are full and good to go for the upcoming week. But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I You guys, this is really not coming out. This burn, this cheese burn down here. Let me know in the comments what would get this burnt cheese off of this pan, off of this pot. Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. I need some help. I guess I'll just let more water sit in it. Yeah? I think I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Look at this cute.
cute welcome sign that I got from Home Goods about a month ago when they started getting their spring line out and it lights up. I think I'm gonna take it inside and put it next to the girls' um, play kitchen though because it's getting kind of dirty out here. It's dusty. So the kids are playing outside. Hi. Hi. sitting here editing today's video I just put everything in I uploaded everything to iMovie and now now I'm gonna start editing today's video Sophia's inside taking her first nap so we took this opportunity to bring the big girls outside and let them enjoy the sunlight for a little bit and play outside Sorry, I had to delete some footage in the camera because the card was all used up. But I think I am gonna end the vlog here, let the girls play outside for a little bit, and then we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. I'm gonna clean up the toy room so I can um, let the girls go back in there and play. And I swear, they do not like playing in the messy toy room. And as soon as I clean it up and it's nice and organized, it's like they like jump on it and they want to destroy it all again um if you enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys not sure what i'm doing here and the days don't work out the way i thought they would and before you there was no one who understood